What up gamers, Fence here, here, and welcome back to Shadowverse. So last time, we finished up the Empyrean Inn, and because of that, we can now move on to the Empyrean Inn Last Resort. So, a Metschi, a luxury resort that hosts people from various worlds, within the walls of this grand institution are five notable guests. A warrior who lives to make his dreams and the dreams of the other guests a reality. A wolf pup who takes in the splendor of his new surroundings with bright, innocent eyes, a dragonling who follows nature's flow and one who directs it, a girl who searches desperately for a way back home. When these five wills cross paths, they will become the storm that rocks the foundation of the Empyrean Inn, and my dog is awake from, his, from her nap and wants to go out. There we go, she's out of my room now. Alright, so, yeah, let's begin. Last resort. I'm not sure how many chapters I'll be doing in a single video. Um, but yeah, I think I'll just go for whatever I can that feels right. And then I'll divide the, the I guess, the next coming videos into some parts. But here we go. Um, what is this? The Great, the Great Spider's Thread. Threads. Okay. Chaos rock and Metschi to its core, the clash of wills between those who would recover their memories and those who would maintain the status quo, threatens to tear apart the great spider's web. Meanwhile, a greater being watches the events unfold with keen interests. Ooh, who's the greater being? Is it Maisha? I mean, oh, my dog wants to go in. There we go. Fates tangled threats under the guidance of the Great Weaver, begin to warp and weft into a creation as yet unknown. A Metschi, woven in an inconspicuous nook between worlds, cocoons travelers in safety and warmth. Here, they may mend the grievous wounds of the past. Tis a paradise in purgatory, where ruinous memories are taken as collateral for room and board. A land flowing with milk and honey, where for a pittance of memories, sojourners are promised peace of mind, body, and soul. But this haven is balanced on tenuous threads, and sooner or later, they are destined to snap. One boy, possessed by his thirst for the unknown, ran blindly into the spider's web, only to be ensnared. One man, seeking to advance his own ambitions, sacrificed his own successor. One dragon's past came at the expense of another's present, and her actions may have shattered both their futures. One lost girl found the truth of her lineage, only to discover the grim price that was paid for her happiness. Now my dog wants to go out. Slumbering truth now awaken, for weal or for woe. The cogs of this world are set slowly into motion, grinding inexorably toward chaos. The idyllic inn guests once knew will soon be but a speck on the horizon. The event horizon, beyond which only one thing shall remain. Purpose. Oh, Nerva. The driving force of any world, and all its actors. So she's a greater being just witnessing this. Yes, purpose. Though I finally understand the drivers of the human mind, my knowledge is as yet incomplete. The imperfection of the human condition gives people strength. The fragility of the psyche motivates them to adapt. The unwavering zealotry oh. born Oh my gosh. Faith. The unapologetic oh. greed born of thirst. Wait, let me read that again. So... The unwavering zealotry of born of faith. The unapologetic greed born of thirst. These emotions are fuel for the engines of the heart. Mm. Now, I find myself the perfect opportunity to test the potency of memories. Okay. So is she making like these different, um, like the vessels or whatever? Just based on different things? So this one is based on memories? But yeah, I think I know who it is just based on like what's coming up <laughs> when I did that. You know, the rewards for the, the latest story. Is their relationship with the heart mutualistic or parasitic? Do they spark growth or impede it? I want to know. I must know the answer. Memories are stored in networks, webs of information. 
The more links are established, the stronger they should become. Hmm. I wonder if if it if they made a great spider, you know, a spider, <laughs> just because of the whole web thing, you know, just memories being connected. Yeah, they're just pretty much webs of of information. Maybe that's why they chose a great spider to be. I guess I guess to symbolize that. Serenity is in my grasp. Now is the time to put it to use. I shall watch you with interest, great spider. Show me the fruit oh. of your labor. Show me this world, this experiment's conclusion. Experiments. Or perchance, another will, with his own plans for this world's fate, shall make his mark upon the Arachnid's creation. Oh. Ewan Gilfrey. Ewan? <laughs> Wait, is Ewan about to be here? Do I gotta make a, a deck for him? Your fury, the purpose that guides you, also interests me. Dance upon the intricate threats. Show me the power of an irrational, illogical, emotionally driven heart. Yeah, you and he was the vessel of Minerva. I remember that. That's like a long time ago. Alright, the show must go on. The Great Spider continues its rampage, trampling Emetshi as it goes. The people will wail in despair, believing that the end has come. Just when things are looking their bleakest, Takatsumi arrives. Alright. Let's go, Takatsumi. <laughs> he took down Itsurugi. Oh, yeah, here. That's the last part of Itsurugi here. I nearly forgot about that damn arachnid. Guess I gotta take care of you first. It's fine by me. We'll make this the biggest party a Mets she's ever seen. How do you like that, great spider? Gotta make this quick, though. There's a lot I gotta get done. And I'm only one man now. Well, off I go. Wish me luck, Itsuroki. Um, dog wants to go in? Run! It's here! Ah! Oh. And there's the great spider. We're done for. It's going to destroy the whole inn. Oh, because that dumb dog broke the great spider's rules. <laughs> Come on. Please, great spider. The forsaken broke the rules, not us. Where's your accent? <laughs> we didn't do anything wrong. Please. I wish I could hear the reveal accent. There it is. Sorry, but I've got big plans for this inn. Can't have you trashing the place. <sighs> you okay? I... Yes. Thank you, Takatsumi. Good. Now get out of here and hide somewhere safe. Of course. Guys! Takatsumi's here! The Alkanite Paladin is here to save us! Takatsumi? Thank goodness. I don't know how much longer we would have lasted. <laughs> you did good. Now leave the rest to me. Well, wait. Before you go, do you know what happened to Itsurugi? <sighs> it's his fault. This is all... Shh, can it, idiot. You know how close Takatsumi was to the pup. He's dead. Happy? Takatsumi. I, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean... Sorry. What's done is done. Right now, we've got bigger problems. <laughs> Not in the mood for a civil chat, huh? Look, I was ready to take responsibility for this mess, seeing as my little bro is the one who started it. But this is different. Ooh. I can't overlook what you've done to innocent guests. Ametsuchi is supposed to be paradise, a place where everyone can live up life to the fullest. Dog wants to go out again? Is this your idea of paradise? Fear? Pain? Grief? It sure ain't mine. He's... he's squaring up against the Great Spider! Takatsumi can take it! Get him, Takatsumi! Yeah! Spider Schmider! Nothing beats our paladin! Come on, guys! Let's get this hunting party rolling! I'll count us in! Three, two, one, cheer! 
Taketsumi! 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 Tch, did they forget how much danger they're in? <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, it's just another like hunting party <sighs> for them. Guess I gotta put on a good show then. The show must go on. Wherever you are, it's Ruby. I hope you're watching too. I'm gonna make Emetsu a real paradise, just like you wanted. So, you rest easy, okay? I think he's still alive, though. Oh. <laughs> All right, enough moping. It's party time. We're gonna have ourselves a tail wagon good time. Enjoy your send off, Spider. Takatsumi the Aconite Paladin is gonna personally escort you to hell. <laughs> All right. Well then, he's doing something. Past and future, Mizuchi and Anisage rush to stop the chaos from spreading further. Seeing Anisage's determination, Mizuchi asks how she stays so confident. Yeah, these are these are going by really fast. Let's go. <sighs> what was that? It came from the direction of the great. Oh gosh, my dog. <laughs> So much in this video, she wants to go in and out. The great spider? It... it's real then. It is. It looked like a massive soot spawn, stronger than any I've encountered before. Well, no matter what it is, we have to stop it. We will, as soon as we've stopped Salong. So we're gonna go after Salong first? The soot spawn? We don't have time for this. Stay back, Anna Sage. I'll handle it. It's okay. I can help. If I just... Yeah! Wow. <sighs> like, thinking back to Itsurugi, like, it took him <laughs> a while for him to take it down. Anna Sage is pretty powerful. Uh, how did you do that? You weren't anywhere near that powerful when I fought you. <laughs> Really? The difference is like night and day. How did you improve so quickly? Or were you just going easy on me? Hmm. I don't think I improved exactly. I just remembered things I'd forgotten how to do. Hmm. Maybe that's it. I was created to be able to defend myself in a pinch. You got your memories back then. I did. I remembered everything. As did I. I found a shard and... Well, now I know who I was, and who I will one day become. Who you'll one day become? As in... your future? But... how would you learn your future from memories of the past? I don't understand it myself, to be honest. When my memories should have caught up to the present, they kept going. I saw my future self ascend to Dragonhood. I did horrible things, unspeakable things. All under the name Salon. Oh. Oh no. I'm so sorry to drag you into this, but I have to stop her. Before I end up becoming her. It's okay. I'd be glad to help. I know we got off on the wrong foot, but I'm not going to abandon someone who needs a hand. <sighs> Thank you. You're more mature than I am, huh? I naively believed that if I gritted my teeth and went with the flow, Everything would work out in the end. And now that I know it doesn't, I have no idea what I should do. Or how to avoid following in her footsteps. Mm -hmm. But if she's just like you, maybe Salong so isn't such a bad person after all. I don't know, Anna Sage. She didn't seem like a bad person to me either. Not at first. She was a dragonling like me. But she was everything I wasn't. Confident and assertive. And even though I'd only just met her, I felt like I'd known her forever. <laughs> Guess I have. Mm -hmm. She followed the rules until they wore her so thin she snapped, and... If I hadn't come to a Metschi, I'd have ended up the same. So I have to do something now, before it's too late. Um... Mizuchi, do you regret getting your memories back? It, is that how I sounded? Mm-hmm. You seem so desperate to change yourself now. You might be right. I probably would have been happier not knowing. I wouldn't feel so lost either. Mizuchi, to be honest, my memories were scary too. 
even though I really wanted them, and everyone went through so much to help me get them back. They hurt. But you're still trying to protect the shards from Salong anyways? Of course. My memories did catch me off guard. But I want others to choose for themselves. It's a bit reassuring to hear that a grown-up like you thought they were frightening too. I was petrified when I saw mine. <sighs> I'm not much of a grown-up. I'm just a little girl doing whatever the adultier adults tell me to. That's... How are you so sure of yourself? I woke up here with only a hazy idea of who I was, and no idea of where I was or what to do. I can't imagine how strong you must be to go through that and still assert your own ideals, even with the rest of Emetschi branding you a criminal. I didn't give Emetschi or the rules much thought at all, really. I just wanted to go home. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I admire your determination. Home. Now that you have your memories, I'm sure you'll find your way back. Oh, um, there's... There's no home for me to return to anymore. Yep. Huh? When I lost my memories, I also forgot that... My home is gone. After losing his daughter, Father welcomed me into his home, but now... He's with her. Oh. I'm so sorry. It's okay. I'm glad I remembered. Now I know I want to go back. So I can give him a proper burial. Even though I'm sad he won't be there waiting for me when I get back. He's here in my heart. He made me. He gave me my powers and taught me how to use them. And now that I have my memories of him back, I have the strength to live my life my way. Just like he wanted. Anna Sage, you have incredible resolve. I ought to take note. I couldn't have done it by myself. I had father's guidance and help from so many people along the way. Not just anyone can motivate others the way you have. I think it's how honest you are about yourself. You make me realize how much I've been keeping locked up inside. Hard I've been trying to look the other way. That changes now. I'm done doing things I'll regret because I think I have to walk a certain path. I don't have to become Salon. I can be myself. And painful as they are, our memories can guide me, just like yours guided you. <laughs> yeah, that's the spirit. Thank you, Anna Sage. Talking with you really set me straight. <laughs> A little of your courage must have rubbed off on me. I've done enough waffling. Right now, we need to stop so long before she destroys everyone's memories. Not while you're on the clock. Oh my gosh. Afraid. Saito. <laughs> Mizuchi! Above us! Ouch. Uh, this is why magicians don't use the same trick twice. Too easy to see through, but I have plenty more in my arsenal. Saito! Mizuchi. It's been a while since your last performance review, hasn't it? I'm afraid I can't say I'm impressed with your current conduct. You will have to be... corrected. Uh oh. Are we gonna see Itsurugi? I wanna see what happens- what happened to him. <laughs> the company man. Nope, we're still with Saito. Uh, Mizuchi asked Saito to help them, citing his duty to maintain order in Emetsuchi, but her words do nothing to move him. Any Sage takes the matter into her own hands and tells the Dragonling to run on ahead to deal with Silong, resolving to handle Saito herself. Oh, okay. I mean, yeah, I guess that makes sense, you know. Saito, please listen. I'm on my way to subdue Silong, but there's also the Great Spider to deal with. If you have time for this, then. Thank you for your concern. I don't have time for this. Now, if you would be so kind as to not to add to my workload, why is it work piles up all at once? I always hated crunch time. But what's there to be done? It's either do or die now. Do or... Saito, you can't be serious. Oh, but I am. You know I'm a busy man. Let's get this over with. Huh. Well, I'd love to stay and chat. I'm afraid I really must be getting to my next engagement with the Great Spider. Huh? Mizuchi! Anna Sage, what are you... Ugh. 
No! You need to hurry and find Salong. I'll try to... Uh, I'll hold Saito off. So go! Alone? You can't. He's too... I know. I know he's strong. But with everyone's memories at risk, I have to at least try. Worst case, I'll buy you enough time to stop Salong. If anyone can get through to her, it's you. I promise. But... Please trust me. I'm a lot stronger than you thought, right? I'll be okay. I trust you. And I will come back for you. Splitting the party. Hardly a smart decision. You weren't going to try and chase after her? Not yet. I prefer to finish one task before starting the next. And besides, I was just heading to subdue Lady Salong myself. You and Mizuchi were simply on the way. If Mizuchi whittles her down a little before I get there, that only makes my job easier. We now work together. Mizuchi will win. I know she will. I wouldn't be so sure. Lady Salong is another Mizuchi from another timeline. But older, stronger, and vastly more experienced. Huh? You... you knew. Ah, my suspicions were correct then, I gather. Oh, <laughs> you guessed. Time is a tricky thing, but I've seen it before and know the signs. Oh, really? So, Silong and Mizuchi are not, are not the first to have happened like this. And you never told them? You're horrible. Is that what I saw? Yeah, he's seen it before. And the signs. You think it happened to him? Or maybe just someone else he saw? Oh, children like you are so curious. But I assure you, most secrets are best left unknown. In any case, Mizuchi will not defeat Lady Salong. And you will not defeat me, because you are both young and naive. Did you really think you two'd skip along and defeat a divine creature without any preparation or strategy? It's about time someone taught you that real life isn't as easy as your storybooks made it look. <sighs> You must have felt so heroic, telling Mizuchi to go on without you. I'm afraid you won't be buying her enough time to do much of anything. I've seen your powers. You're certainly a powerful monster. Undead with considerable mana reserves, cloaking, and the ability to phase through physical obstacles. However, I happen to be somewhat of a monster hunting specialist. See, I used to be an officer with the Paranormal Disciplinary Division of the Tokyo Bureau of Justice. Killing monsters like you was my job. I'm not a monster. I beg to differ. You're an astral spirit contained in some human child's reanimated corpse. In Tokyo, I would have classed you as a B-rank undead monster. Your world wasn't particularly advanced, was it? Your body was preserved and cobbled back together almost entirely by magic. <laughs> I hope I haven't offended you. Father made me to give his daughter my big sister another chance at life while well, he couldn't bring her back he brought me to life and raised me as another daughter you don't know the first thing about me oh i do i took the liberty of examining your memories remember i know what you are better than you yourself do and in my expert opinion you are a monster you you're horrible Horrible! I was horrible for not telling Mizuchi the truth, but now I'm horrible because I told the truth. <laughs> that last attack was sloppy, even for you. Your mind's not on the fight. You're moving on impulse alone and wasting energy on big swings without bothering to aim. This is why I've never liked children. Uh. I didn't get time off when I was sick. I didn't get leave for either of my parents' funerals. Ooh. One time I had to sell a kidney to meet my monthly quota. And you wow. know how I managed to live like that. Why I lived like that. Because that's the reality of being an adult. I was just doing my job. Everyone has to balance their workload and schedule. What you put in versus what you get paid. Ah! Yelch. But that's all above a poor little monster's head, isn't it? You have no purpose or responsibilities, and you never will. If you hadn't come to Ometsuji, you could have lived forever. How unfortunate. I used to think I was unfortunate too. When father's life was taken, I was lost. I didn't know where to go or what to do. I never wanted to hurt anyone, but whenever hunters found me, I'd have no choice but to... 
to defend myself. Eventually, I got so tired of running and fighting. I couldn't take it anymore. And I wanted to give up. And when you next woke, you found yourself here, I presume. And that she appears to those who need it most. A scenic inn with entertainment and amenities provided around the clock. Free of charge. All to ease the guests' weary souls. You don't have to fight anymore, Anna Sage. It's not too late to check your memories back in and enjoy the restful healing vacation you wished for. Kamechi is just what I needed, but not in the way you mean. When I arrived, I was lost. Nothing made sense. Nothing was fair. But the people I met here helped me find my way and gave me the push I needed to move forward. Maybe you're right that I don't have the experience or foresight adults do. I did have to rely on the adults here after all. But you know what? Here we go. I'm not just a helpless girl anymore either. I'm done running and hiding. Father gave me the strength to protect myself, and the friends I made here gave me the courage. <gasps> How? How can a mere child unleash that much mana? Maybe you're so busy adulting that you've forgotten what it's like to fight for something with all your heart. But I still remember. My heart is the most powerful weapon I've got, and it's the reason you will never, ever beat me. Yeah, dude, Saito is such a Squidward. <laughs> but dude, I, I, I really want to see... I really want to see what Tokyo looks like, you know, in his world. Because I'm guessing it's going to be like a modern world, you know. You know, pretty much like Earth right now in real Tokyo. <laughs> yeah, I, I, wa I want to see a world in this in this game that looks more of like the modern day stuff. Like one world that's just a modern world. Like, you know, in real life. Because, you know, so far it's always been like fantasy, which, you know. Like, yeah, that's understandable for this game to be mainly about fantasy. But I feel like it'll be refreshing to see a modern like world you know I think the closest that we got the closest that we got was uh Aeolon and maybe like the rich parts of Reveal like that area <laughs> um but yeah living versus surviving it looks like there's a battle here as befits one of the top members of the concierge Saito has a wide array of skills at his disposal he unleashes them all on Anisage determined to put a stop to her once and for all all right, so yeah, again, Annie Sage, this is her class, same as before. Let's go. Hopefully, it's not going to be too bad of a battle. Yeah, you've got more fight to you than I anticipated. I retract my earlier assessment. This much mana would class you as at least an A rank undead. At least? How about this then? I'm a certified warding and boundary specialist. Rather useless on resumes, but always comes in handy in the field. How did you block that? By warding and bounding. I handle all the wards surrounding the Weaver's Hall. Of course I can shield myself. Your shield works like the wards? Uh, oh. Then I can get through it. Yeah, that's what I thought too. Gone semi-astral, have you? Physical attacks against you won't land. You even masked your mana's presence. Better than the last time we fought. But I'm no amateur. I've seen that trick before. With a little holy water and radiant magic. Wow. Uh, He's scary, man. My Very powerful. Should have protected me. Well, your invisibility and corporeality both are achieved by partially shifting your body to the astral plane. As a certified exorcist, that tells me that you're susceptible to the same exorcism techniques as wraiths or specters. While I'm at it, I might also remind you that I'm a certified adept beastmaster. Yep, there's that too. <gasps> That's fun! Indeed. As real and vicious as any you'll find in a Metsji, but with one key difference. This one only obeys me. Another soot spawn? But you already... As long as no one breaks the memory shard itself, I can summon a new soot spawn to it however many times I please. Wow. You could destroy the shard to stop me, but you won't, will you? Yeah, you won't. You're holding someone's memories hostage. You make it sound like I'm using a person as a shield. 
It's just a rock and a spider. If I keep the soot spawn near me, you can't attack without risking the delicate memory shard. If you try to go astral to avoid attacks, I'll simply exercise the area again. Yeah, that's pretty tough. The fight's not looking good for you, is it? Yeah. Ah, you're welcome to get up and run if you think you've bought Mizuchi enough time. No, I won't run. I see. There's no shame in a tactical retreat, but if you insist, let the record show I offered you a chance to surrender. He's physically stronger than me and knows what he's doing. He's smart and came prepared because he's been doing this for years and years. To beat him, I need to figure out his weaknesses. Something I can do, but he can't. Something I can withstand, but will leave him defenseless. <laughs> I know how to beat you. You might be strong, but you aren't stronger than the Forsaken! Do you see any Forsaken here to save you? You can't rely on adults to do everything for you. A big girl fights her own battles. It's not your place to tell me what to do. <laughs> Would you like to speak to my manager then? The Great Spider gets the last word, whether you like it or not. We'll see about that. All right, here we go. So yeah, is there going to be any special thing about Saito here? I wonder if like that memory shard is going to be a card or something where we can't attack him or something. I guess we're about to find out really quick. No one decides my fate but me. Go in second. What would a naive child know? Um, put you away. Put you away. Maybe we'll keep you just to maybe draw. You know what? I'm fine by using the the accelerate on her. Yeah. Or maybe Susie. I don't know. Oh. Seems I'll finish right on schedule today. You have that suit? I'll use this power to bring people joy. Oh, what? Clear resolve. Banish a follower that costs X play or, or uh, X play points or less from your hand. X equals the number of shadows that you have. Put a random follower from your deck into your hand. At the end of your opponent's next turn, summon a copy of the banished follower and activate its last word effects. Wait, last words? What if he can do this, too? Hmm. I don't really have any last word cards, I think. Only this one. Dang. Uh, maybe I can do Susie here instead. I'm doing you a favor by putting your bones to you. Oh, we got another one? Oh, shoot. <laughs> it's fine. I won't let your memory wilt. Okay. Um... Let me do this. Your words will never contain me. Soul Sniper. Okay. What a cute corpse. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> My looks are secret to die. Hey. Another clear resolve. Then I can if I want I can do this, right? I'll stake my life on this. <laughs> Rampage. Nice. How can this be? Not too bad, not too bad. I can do it again with the clear resolve. Banish someone. But yeah, only the <laughs> this is the only last words that I have. <laughs> That's the only one. I don't have anyone else, I think. Me. Yeah, Soul Sniper. I will bloom again. It's going to evolve uh, you. I'll keep moving forward. Join me in the a ravishing rampage. Okay. I wonder what the younger me would think. How can this? Be? Uh oh, here we go. I'll never get used to this speed. Adieu, adieu. My looks are simply to die for. All right. Shoot, Anna Siege. No, my hand is full. Um, what do I do here? I think what I can do is play you. 
We got, we got a lot of ghosts, by the way, which is pretty good. But I'll do that. I'll destroy maybe this one. What goes around comes around. I got another Susie here. And then maybe if I want, I can play all the ghosts. Um, but first, I want to evolve so I can reanimate. I'm done running and hiding. And then I'll go and play two of the ghosts here. I'm coming. Then I'll attack with you. Oh, hex you. Um, maybe I can do this. Then maybe have one of the ghosts go after you. What do I do here? Now let's go for this. Done for the day. Yeah, that's fine. Glad. I can summon one more ghost. Um, or should I play this? Now I'll summon one more ghost. I'm coming a for you. Detestable, detestable, detestable. Okay, he's down to six. Not too bad. Not too bad. Oh my gosh, this freaking card. So annoying. At least we got a ghost. Um... <laughs> This freaking card here, man. It's so annoying. Um, if I want, I can use the Lord of Resurrection. Oh, you dead. The sixth calls upon you. Take my life. The dead oh wait, we can win. We won. Nothing can hold me back. Soul Sniper. Bigger Impossible. There we go. Ooh, not that bad of a battle, man. Not that bad. Nice. You aren't as mature as you think. Ooh. Okay. <sighs> Why are children so much work? A sensible adult would have given up by now. You willed my wards down considerably, but... You're pulling punches against me. Fear not, you won't be killing me. But I will defeat you! Ugh. Aimlessly rampaging like that will only waste your energy and make you an easy target. Watch. <coughs> I really don't have all day to play with you. Yeah, ouch. Listen, you selfish brat. Society has rules for a reason, and you will be brought to justice. No! You listen! You're the selfish one. You're the one throwing a tantrum because things aren't going your way. You. You aren't as mature as you think. The adults I know all made up their own minds about what's right and wrong. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, she's saying that, you know, he's just following the rules, but and that pretty much decides, like, what's right and wrong. But for her, you know, the adults that she knows, you know, yeah, like she said, makes her own, makes her own minds up. They never gave up, and they fought for what they believed in, even when it hurt. Like, even when they break the rules, which, you know, Saito is more of a rule follower, and that's what he thinks, you know. That pretty much judges to him, like, what's good and evil. But you? You were just a coward following orders. Yeah. Pushing off the responsibility of your actions onto your job because you're afraid. Afraid of being held accountable for your own mistakes. Just like you're afraid of facing your past. Wow. And what would a little girl like you know about responsibility? Hmm? Have you ever had a job? Have you ever had to support yourself? I haven't, but... I know something that matters more. I know how to live my own life. Just like Father, and just like the Forsaken. You can never stop us. <laughs> but can you stop me? I'll never know unless I try. I'll fight with all I've got. Ha! Do your worst. I've already countered all your abilities. All that's left is to wait until you get tired of playing and run along home. 
I don't have any home to go back to. So the only way to go is forward, with all my strength! My ward. Ha! I don't need it to fight a whelp like you. I was kind enough to exercise you gently before, but not this time. By the righteous light of the divines. Oh, snap. Repent and be gone. Wait, what is he doing? The lights of the divines. Those are capitalized. What kind of power is this? Oh. I wonder if she just escaped or if he actually did it. <laughs> How long has it been since I've had to take a fight this seriously? Not many have broken one of my wards. Allow me to give respect where respect is due. I'll show you the full power of an elite battle exorcist! <sighs> give my regards to the Devil's Inn. What? Where's my soot spawn? Oh. I destroyed it. Oh. You were so focused on defending yourself. It never occurred to you that I might do something more creative. Hey. I hardly have any mana left, and I haven't got much stamina. But I do have this. That shard. No. No! Yes. Face your past. Oh, it's his. Hmm. <sighs> Uh, can we finally see it? <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> I, I remember. There was the interplanar invasion of 2093 and... 2093? And at the time, our target turned out to be a demon from the Seventh Circle and I... And... <laughs> Let me read it, read it, read that again. The time our target turned out to be a demon from the seventh circle. So yeah, pretty much like his whole job, you know, is to be an exorcist. I was right. That was your shard powering the soot spawn. Wow. How? How did you know? The way you spoke of others' memories was so cold. But you also sounded scared of them. As though you were speaking from experience when you said some things were best left unknown. You were so desperate to prevent us from recovering our memories because you were afraid of your own. I thought to myself, if you have access to other people's shards, you probably have access to your own. And since it's your biggest weakness, I guessed that you'd hide it on your person, where no one else would find it. Seeing all your darkest memories flash before your eyes would stagger anyone, even the concierge. You risked your life for just a couple of guesses. What if you were wrong? I wasn't. And I had to take the chance, risky or not. You never hesitated to exploit others' weaknesses, so I used yours. <sighs> you aren't the only one who learned from our last fight. I know you use your business-like facade and sarcastic taunts to manipulate your opponent's reactions. Your ability to keep your composure and make level-headed decisions under pressure is your biggest strength. So I tried to make you angry, impatient, frustrated. I knew that the moment you let your emotions rule you, I'd have an opening. So I went all out, hoping you'd be so distracted that you wouldn't realize it was just a feint. And it worked! You were so caught up bracing for my big attack that you didn't notice me take down the soot spawn for your shard. <laughs> After all my years of doing eldritch horrors. Eldritch horrors? I what? For a fool by some smart ass child. Is it that Cthulhu? But yeah, when he talked about the whole invasion thing, like, yeah, I guess his work of being an exorcist is more than just like, you know, like, um,. Like that movie, like the like the Exorcist. Like it's more than that. It's just there's an actual invasion and all these man. Wow. I feel sick. I told you before, didn't I? My last job was a living hell. Must I live with the demons in my memories? Did I not suffer enough already? You robbed countless people of their memories, memories they cherished above all, and are now gone forever. So yes, 
You must confront your past. Maybe then you'll finally understand why memories are precious, irreplaceable treasures. Even if they hurt. Be strong, Saito. Don't act like you've done me a service. There is no bright side to my past. No silver lining. Not if you close your eyes and refuse to look for one. I have to go now. And stop so long before any more memories are lost. Goodbye. D don't! Don't leave me here! At least finish me off! Don't! Don't! <laughs> now he's really traumatized by that. But yeah, guys, that is pretty much it for this video here. That was the beginning of the Empyrean Inn, Last Resorts by the Great Spider's Threads, the show must go on, past and future, the company man, and living versus surviving. So with that done, what well, there's like 17 in total, so 12 left. What I can do next time is maybe do three chapters per video, and that will end pretty much in four videos, or I can do four and end in three videos. But yeah, we'll see. Anyway guys, that'll be it for now. That's game.